If you want to post something on YouTube, you're going to have to realize a couple things. One, it's probably already been done. Two, it's probably been done better. Three, well, there is no three. I'm just going to go through this junk and see if I can start this project. Putting personal computers into uh, consoles is um, nothing new. So how do you make yours unique? Well, just put, try to put your own special kind of twist onto it, I guess. And, uh, you know, that's what it today is. This is an original Xbox conversion to use it as a PC case. So if bad editing doesn't scare you away, it's nice to see you here. Firstly and most importantly, you need a donor Xbox, preferably a broken one, but I just didn't have that opportunity as the one I had lined up fell through. Not to worry though, I will end up finding a good case for this and put it all back in. Just now, let's just enjoy the teardown. Now that our Xbox original parts are out and carefully put away, uh, it's time for the mock-up. And there's no right or wrong way to do this, it's just what works for you. These plastic standouts might even come off with a pair of pliers, but uh, yeah, I'm just thinking ahead of time, you know, if she doesn't see you using your power tools, you know, she just might not buy you anymore. Now, I'm not entirely sure how to run Windows on the one, a motherboard on the left, but I am sure about the ASUS on the right. I'm just going to screw the power supply right into the plastic and I'm going to grind off anything sharp at the bottom when I'm done. Keeping this cool is a $12 CPU cooler. I would like to spend a little bit more in that department and I will in the future, but it's what I have right now and it kind of looks good anyway. Now I think I'm all set to start mocking this up and get into the build, but first I gotta tackle a uh, power supply, which I paid like $20 for a few years back. So I'm gonna make it look pretty for this build anyway. I'm just going to screw the power supply right into the plastic and I'm going to grind off anything sharp at the bottom when I'm done. And I'm hoping by using this style of power supply that the fan on top will help dissipate the heat out through the back. Kind of surprised how everything seemed to fit like it almost went there. And um, yeah, I don't have an IO shield for it. I didn't get one. Um, but I did cut a hole in the, big enough so in case I do it'll look nice and a little bit nicer. But... I say we throw this together and see how it all works out. I found the wiring diagram on Google and I'll leave a link in the description. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm wiring up the power switch and the uh, LED lights. So the power lights. It's 
spiral tubing is mainly just for appearance and um, I just kind of helps for a cleaner look and that's basically all I'm doing now is just cleaning up making sure it all fits and you know looks nice and tidy before I put the SSD and operating system on all just about done now Putting these USB ports on is kind of optional. You can kind of tie into the original ones that are there if you wanted to. But um, I had this USB 3.0 laying around. It is a thick cord and there's nowhere to hide it. But I'm going to do my best and put it around there. Lastly, uh, some cool air for the CPU. So I'm just gonna go ahead and vent the lid just a little bit. So without any further ado do, let's just uh, quick review and check it out. I bet you thought this was going to run hotter than a popcorn fart. Well, you were wrong, my friends. having a blast here and a GT 1030 holding its own and uh, uh, the CPU will turbo up to 4.2 gigahertz with the simple onboard overclock so yeah the Asus board works rather good with that i5 thank you for watching and um, you know hit the like button if you liked it eh, if not leave a comment and uh, always as always you know you subscribe here thank you I appreciate it bye